Well, let's give it another go. Since I don't really have a choice, I, I have to do these in order, so. Thanks, man. Wait, there's there's actually like allied people in this base. How come nobody came to help me with that big rig? What a bunch of jerks. Don't need to kill those guys, but every point helps. I think I don't want the beam weapon, actually. This thing is great for meat curtains. Super, super machine gun. Nice. Every few seconds you have to turn around because there's always going to be random bad guys running up behind you. want to stay right outside of that spitter's range. What? How did that thing crawl out? It's actually the first time I died at this level. I, I realized it. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to. I didn't want to curse myself. <laughs> I think that was the good call. Now 
once those things are gone, then I have a limited amount of time to reset, get back here. Okay. Not bad. This is not my favorite part. I wonder if developers have, like, specific pet names they give certain parts of their game that they know players are going to either really enjoy or they're going to bloody hate. We call this section the Eliminator. Which, if you've ever watched American Gladiators, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Hey, how's it going? Actually, we have a developer in chat right now. We can just ask him. <laughs> do you do you give ever give like pet names to certain parts of your game that you I don't know maybe for some reason or another they're kind of special to you? Well, I actually have a a ooh, game dev related question. That's why I ask. But that's all cool, man. If you want to lurk? That's totally fine by me. This is a lurker friendly zone. I don't understand why certain streamers have problems with lurkers, man. I'm flattered that anybody would want to just be here to listen to me get my ass handed to me by creatures of iron and meat. There's no way to talk about the premise of this game without sounding weird. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like, how would I explain this game to my wife? You fight these horrible abominations of meat and metal because of an experiment that took place on the moon. Uh, and then there's also in this world a teleporter that allows instant uh, travel from the moon. And yeah, all, all of this happened in like the span of a f fuck, few minutes. Yeah, Indie Contra, that's right, that's, and it's, it's fun. This game is super fun. It's one of those games where it's, it's challenging, it's difficult, but that doesn't stop you. It's a, I always maintain, like, I, I love activities that I'm not good at, but I enjoy anyway. Because then I'll learn to be good because I enjoy the activity already. This thing's useful at dealing with those meat curtains, too. <laughs> yes, did not mean to do that. I was rather enjoying that weapon, actually. So, I, I've, this level has had my number for a while. I don't know how long I've been on this level, but I got as far as the boss on one run and died almost immediately. So, I don't really know what the boss does other than he chases you and he's a giant big rig fused with meat and horrible crap. I don't know. Again, hard to explain this game. Oh, right. Oh, speaking of. 
I think so. <laughs> so about an hour, yeah. Not great. But here we go. We've got nine lives left. So that's good. Hopefully I don't use all of them. All right, Sergeant Studley, we can do this. That's the name of my guy. Big Rig Karnarak. I think that's how it's... <laughs> I think this was actually like one of the first things I saw about this game. Between this and the train that made me think, okay, I'm in. Really doesn't take a lot for me to be interested in a game. Like I said, just either interesting art design, uh, premise, music. Oh yeah, I gotta watch out for those tongues. Shit, waited too long there. Oh, what's that big... Oh, no, no, no. Is that it? Just... Oh no, something else is happening. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. Well, that's good. I think we can do this. Uh, unless he starts showing me something really, really radical and different. This part's actually not that hard. You just have to run back and forth. When you, as soon as you start seeing rubble, you know the tongue's gonna go out. It's not gonna follow at that point. It's just ah. Hey, we did it. Where are we going now? That's better than my average. I think my average was like seven lives lost, something like that. 